So we woke up this morning to some sound out in the water and I thought maybe there was a big animal like a deer or a moose hanging out in the water. And it was a bunch of fish jumping and uh, came over here and I thought it was curious because Jeremy and I both had the same thought which was we can throw some lines out there and fish. You know, like we would probably normally do fish for fun. And I was thinking we have a lot of food already and uh, hadn't really occurred to us to just catch and release. So we've almost come back to where we used to be as far as a, a hunter-gatherer where we would just hunt and gather for food. So we're even hesitant to cast lines out now, um, primarily because we have uh, still fish left over from last night. We have a whole two liter pot of bear meat. <laughs> we have probably a 10 or 15 pound catfish, plus two, three other good sized ones. We have too much. So this morning we're probably gonna eat the bear meat and we're gonna pack out the catfish. But, um, headed off over to Jeremy's family cottage. My family's coming to meet us. And so you're gonna have to watch for a future episode of A Catfish Cook, which we'll do at Jeremy's cottage. So that'll be in a future video. So the catch and cook will follow. How do you pick a part of fish that's been <laughs> cooked like that? We did a little bit in the dark, but... Yeah, you figure out where all the ribs are, and you pull those out, and then you should be able to get a piece with no bones. And all just skin and meat. We've come a long way, Jeremy. A long way from season one, or from... Five from the ago. start, from the yeah. start of this, and yeah. from season one, yep, huge changes. Just ch just the change in strategy, yep, implementing the strategy and eating everything, yep, right, yep. Well, last night we ate the the bear tongue. It was good, yeah. Well, and I didn't follow any recipes about scalding it and skinning it no. and simmering it in broth and yeah, this whole thing about eating beaver <clears throat> meat and you got to take all the fat off and you got to soak it in milk. Yeah. That's garbage. Yeah. It was totally I garbage. Know. I don't know where people came up with that shit. The only thing that we ate was really delicious. Yeah, we added a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of salt, and we put everything in there, mm -hmm. everything in there, and we cooked it and cooked it and cooked it and cooked it. And the more we cooked it, the better it got. Yeah, just simmering away. There was nothing we ate that got worse the more we cooked. And I put everything in that beaver. Like, I picked beaver meat off of a carcass in the water yeah right and yeah. it was sitting there for two days yeah and i i ate a little bit of it and then i waited and it was fine so i added more yeah uh, there was a there was a certain point where we kind of ran out of the ability to add more but if we had a bigger pot mm -hmm. i mean strategy number two is next time instead of a like a what was that a three four liter pot we have like an eight liter pot yeah it's a big heavy pot cast iron but it, it works awesome yeah so, little key things that we changed this year made a big difference. Ate all the organs, ate all the brains, except for the bear. Mm -hmm. But we ate uh, groundhog brain, um, rabbit brain, fish brain. What else? Hair brain. Hair brain. Yeah. yeah. All the brains. Everything. All the organs. Brain. We didn't eat guts this year. We ate fish guts, fish yep. stomachs. But, uh, yeah, and it was all good. I didn't dislike anything except for minnow soup. Yeah, the minnows were the worst. And, the, and maybe the mushrooms. 
the minnows were the worst yeah. hands down yeah. and then they, i think we improved as we went on everything got better yep right every food got better it all came up from there yeah which is better than <laughs> coming up from there <laughs> Bear stew. Breakfast bear. Breakfast bear. How's that be there? Sure. Some there bear. This is so romantic, Jeremy. <laughs> I'm so glad we did this. <laughs> Holy, this is like crumbly tender. We are going to fuel the comments now. And thanks for lending me your jacket too, Jeremy. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Silly me, I forgot my jacket at home. No. <laughs> Do you mind if I borrow your jacket, Jeremy? The more awkward part was when you forgot your sleeping bag. <laughs> 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 and my tent. <laughs> yeah. You silly me. No. Oh. We left in such a rush. <laughs> We're not gay. Settle down, guys. Check that out. All you guys making your comments about broke, <laughs> broke back mountain. <laughs> I never watched the movie, so I don't know what you're referencing, but clearly you guys do. Check that guy out. <laughs> How does that look? That's your thumbnail right there. Two beavers. No. Take off all my tools. Take your pants off there soon. Oh, I almost forgot. A pair of pliers. <laughs> a pair of pliers in your pocket. All right, Jerry's gonna do his final way out. Uh, you weighed in at a hefty <laughs> 198.7. Right. You have any guesses? Uh, 190. Did you think you lost eight pounds? I don't know. We ate so much food though. Yeah, 195. I think 195, okay. Yeah. I think you're probably 194 is my guess. Hold on, hold on a sec. Okay, so we got our catfish there. Just proof of pudding. Filming. Oh, hey, Jer's on the scale. Dude! It's ticking, 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 ticking. 194.4. That's 4.2 pounds. If that's, my mouth is right. Yeah. 4.2 pounds, that's not, that's, that's half as much as last, less than half as much as less I Less than half as much as you lost, yeah. And we're doing it again. 194.4. 194.4. Cool. So we call that a success? Well, compared to last year? 
Yeah. So what's the official difference? And also... Uh, four, four point what? What was the official? 4.2 pounds. 4.2 pounds. And I lost 10 five. last year, right? Approximately. Yeah, you were 9.8, I think, if my memory serves me correctly. Yeah, or 8, somewhere somewhere between 8 and... We'll look it up. So you still lost weight like a marathon. Yeah. Right? Lots of work. Yeah. We did lots of work. We ate a lot of food. Yeah, we ate different food, and I would say my energy level is higher. And I actually had a day where I didn't hardly eat at all, right? Because I had to do a side trip for that camera. Right, and you never... you could can't, It's hard to catch up. I mean, if you sat yeah. in camp, we could catch up. Where we didn't have any days where we didn't eat last are, year. Are you hungry now? No. Are you satisfied with what you ate? Yeah. Big difference, right? Yeah, for sure. The key things that we did was the fats and animal parts and all that stuff. Yeah. All the parts, everything. Yeah. We ate some weird things. Yeah. Yeah, it was very filling. Let's, I'm going to weigh myself with this fish. Oh, you want to see what the fish weighs? Yeah, for sure. This is the biggest fish I ever caught, so I got to know. Jerry's curious to see how much this catfish weighs. 208.2. So it weighs about 13.8 pounds. So about 14 pounds. Here, show me the show it up the camera so you can have something for your, oh. your Facebook. -y. Yeah, it's covered in gravel and grass, but it's all good. Nice. Nice Facebook. work. Facebook. Nice work on this challenge. Yeah. It was a crap load of work to put this you, thing together. There's like four days of food right here. <laughs> right? <laughs> of lean meat anyway. Yeah. yeah. I just need some fat to mix in there. Yeah. Or, like the or, brains. Or lots of sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. All right. I'm weighing in now. Wood beard. What was my start weight again? Uh, you started off at 139.4 pounds. You got your knife in your pocket still. Yeah. Same as I was. Oh, you had it in before too? Oh, wait. Yeah, I had my knife. I think I had my knife. Okay. I just have toilet paper, piece of paper, my lighter I had in. A couple chocolate bars. No, no chocolate bars. All right. All right. Hopping on the scale. One thirty-eight point two. One thirty-eight point two. There's so, no way you're only down a pound. I lost one pound. I don't know, dude. That can't be right. That's pretty good. No. Yeah, I'll do it again just to prove it. Yeah, one thirty-eight point two. One thirty-eight point two. No way. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not lying. What's this? Alright. I had a catfish in my back pocket. Alright. No more joking around. Here comes the official weight. What it, do you think that catfish weighs? I don't know. Um, we'll figure out in a minute here. 138.2. Now I'm worried. Yeah. Because you're at least a catfish lighter. What's it saying? 134 even. 134 so even. So that's a 4.2 pound catfish. Wow. Okay. One. One. That was 134? Yeah, so you lost 5.2 pounds. What? 134 again. <laughs> so how much did I lose? 5.2 pounds. Wow. Surprising Which is. is still it's two pounds better than yeah that's a six thousand calorie difference is one way to think of it compared to last year right so I did man I ate a lot of food too yeah. and you're, you're my witness like I never stopped eating once we had that food yeah. I was food 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 yeah. food but we hit we maxed out like we got to points where we were full right yeah like where we couldn't eat what we thought we were gonna eat no absolutely so, hmm. so I mean, I'm reacting, I guess, to different to the hunter-gatherer um, lifestyle, right? Yep. I mean, eventually I'd probably plateau and stay at a certain weight. 118 pounds. Yeah, super lean. <laughs> like the guys you actually see who live off the land. Yeah. You know, the guys that are thin and mobile in, in pursuing game, yep. right? Chasing it down and hunting. Pretty rank. Yeah, it's pretty smelly. You think it'll work? <laughs> work for what? 
for... What are we doing next, everybody? What's our next adventure? What? Carcasses hung in a tree. What could we possibly be doing? You got that or you need help? I got it. I'm on it. Guys, we're gonna do a bear catch and cook in the fall. How about that? It's gonna be awesome. So we're setting up a bait right now. We have a plan since Jeremy's gonna be doing his channel almost, almost full time. When I'm at, can't, I can't make any more promises. More content. More content. Jeremy has a good camera now we're using right now. Yep. I have to buy another camera, long story, if you're just tuning in now. But uh, mine fell in the lake, so I'm gonna be shopping around for another one. Yep. Hopefully I'm getting some help from you guys. If you guys wanna help me out, I might start a Patreon because at this point, I, I can't generate enough uh, money to pay for the expenses and it's just getting pretty costly. And I think we're at the point now where we're producing some pretty good material. Yeah. So you gotta find some food back there? Yeah. What is it? Oh, a little bug. Nice Bloody mosquito. Nice job. Focus. It won't focus that close. Oh, no, no. There you go. Oh, well. Jeremy, it's going to be a speck. Jeremy's going to be learning the ins and outs of putting together movies, and I think he's got a good shot. So, yeah. so you've got, you've got to have some content um, planned, right? Yep. Good. And uh, yeah, we're going to do some more stuff. We still have a skunk to eat. Uh, we're not eating the skunk price today because we're both full. Yeah. So we're going to save that for probably the next video on my channel. Yeah. Um, what else do we have planned? What else do we have planned? Well, I think I'm going to carry on. So I lost a little bit of weight and I feel really good during this season two of the Wilderness Living Challenge. So I'm going to I'm going to stretch it out. Uh, we have all that extra meat and I have a couple of other resources available to me. We're getting close into hunting season. So I'm going to try and follow through on a modern hunter-gatherer diet uh, for as long as I can and document my my moods and my uh, weight loss or weight gain. Does that mean you're going to be going out in the forest every day collecting food? No, but I, I will go out and collect food periodically and that'll be some of the content on my channel. I'll, I'll be doing some pick and process for things other than meat, uh, but we've got all that meat now stockpiled, so I'm going to eat through that. So. You're talking about starting from the end of this challenge, the Wilderness Living Challenge, and you're going to continue forward. Yep. For how long? Well, at least another week, but I'm going to try and go for maybe long, more, long, as long as I can. Right. So we're going to see what the yeah. effects are on the body in a long-term basis, eating the same kinds of diets with meats and berries. Yep. So you're going to harvest as much as you can. You're going to use some of the meats that we've already collected so far that's yep. been stored, um, and you're going to see where this goes as a more long term so another yep. week so another five days you're gonna put that in the At video least. on your channel and it'll this, come out jeremy's channel is one wild crafter yep and obviously the links are going to be all throughout this you'll go find him go subscribe to him um i owe jeremy a lot because i could not have put this together without him 100 percent. Oh, well That's don't fun. don't even say thanks <laughs> jeremy knows like there, there's a ton of work right oh it's lots of work ton of work and uh, when the camera landed in the water, we racked our brains to try to figure out how we were going to put this together. We tried oh, to film with God. the GoPro. It was not going to happen. Yeah. And uh, Jeremy drove all the way to Sudbury and back. Yeah. It, and that was in the that was in the simple solution. We got a lesser grade camera. That's a 300 kilometer round trip. Yeah. And he spent 1,700 bucks on this camera. So oh, this many blueberries. Right. And Jeremy didn't eat, <laughs> didn't eat that day. Didn't eat that night. I went back to camp, and I cooked beaver to try to stop it from spoiling. I got yeah. most of it done. Uh, obviously, we're putting this to use now. Uh, because it's just too far gone too much you yeah. know if we were both two hands on deck we could have done it um not that that's the reason it spoiled it was just a lot of work a lot of time and it got hot and lots yeah. of other things and we're putting it back in nature an animal is going to come grab this and make use of it yeah nature do nature doesn't waste we've been leapfrogging our animals one's leading into another and so now this carcass is going to lead us to a bear hopefully exactly just like we use part of the beaver carcass to catch our catfish yep yeah. right yep yeah. so it's it's all working out guys yeah, and so One Wild Crafter, go subscribe to him. He's going to have a bunch of new stuff coming out. Do it. Do it, for sure. And uh, yeah, because I owe Jeremy a favor, and the best way I can do that is by repaying him with some of my subscribers. So, or all of them. All, everybody go over. Because, uh, <laughs> because, like I say, I can't do this without Jeremy. This is a two-man operation. And the next thing we're going to talk about, too... It was a, it was a three-man operation this time, too, right? So Yeah. We also... Sorry, thank Adam. You. When I'm not... I don't... Adam Craig Outdoors. Yeah. My mind is not fully functioning yet, but Adam Craig Outdoors, he supplied us with the traps and the help with the beaver. Yeah. Beaver? Not the traps. The, the helping. Trapping. The trapping. Right? He came out, set the traps twice. Yeah. Came out. We pre-showed. 
uh, him coming out. We hope we uh, were hoping to catch one that day. We had to backpedal and find this new pond where we're actually just next to right yep. now, and that's where the viewer happened to be. Yep. So Adam Craig Outdoors, I owe him a favor too. <laughs> yeah, this, this beaver has come home actually. <laughs> yeah, it's come full circle and we, we foraged in a pretty large area this time yep. and Jeremy put a lot of miles on the car to do that yep. because uh, last year we came up short. So uh, are we missing anything? I'm sure we're missing something. Um, oh yes, so future plans for the Wilderness Living Challenge and this is where you guys come in. We want to go do things that are uh, different. We don't want to keep going in our backyard. No. Nope. Uh, Jeremy has gone to Granada as part of his uh, research. I've gone to the Dominican. You've seen videos that will precede this on the Dominican. Uh, but there's more possibilities there for survival and there's better, I think, we think, maybe resources where we'll have the balance that we need yeah. to actually net out. We're coming, we came really close this time. If we had better focus or maybe more time, yeah. We might net out, or maybe we would just end up in a keto state where we kind of have a uh, struggle with balancing our weights, or maybe this is just a hunter-gatherer weight, we don't know. Yeah. But to further that experiment, we want to try in different environments, and uh, we think it'd be fun. So I'm going to drop the Patreon down, hopefully, or some kind of way to donate, and uh, that money will go toward the both of us to hopefully fund the trip, yeah. at least uh, partially or in full. And uh, hopefully I can get a little bit of money for the camera accident because uh, like I say, this is a $1,700 camera and uh, it's a lesser grade than mine. So I lost about two grand in the pond, which kind of hurts. And uh, nowhere near enough that my channel makes enough to recover mm -hmm. that. So I don't have anything else to add. Have I forgotten anything? I think we're good. No. If we so, forgot anything, we'll clip it on the end. Yeah, so keep watching for the skunk. It's coming up. I I kept my. I'm gonna keep my word. We are gonna eat the skunk, and uh, we're gonna do a, a finish up on the catfish. Yeah. Yeah. So keep watching and uh, stay tuned for Jeremy. He does have some stuff planned. Do you want to do a teaser or not? Uh, there's nope. some bugs. Oh, there's some bug catch and cook for sure. There's uh, some uh, catch and cook bear, and there'll be some pick and process with some wild edibles. Nice.